All right, everyone. So let's take a look now how you can bring LLMs into Snowflake and run them securely with your data in just a few minutes. So why are we going to want to do this? Let me walk you through the scenario quickly here. So here we have a table in our Snowflake account. This is customer support transcript. So imagine an airline, you know, you call up Delta or you get on a live chat and you're like, hey, I have an issue with my flight. I need to change it, whatever else. So this table has all the data for a bunch of transcripts like that. Now, one of the challenges here is it's really hard for me to look at this transcript and pull out the insight here. Um, like, what are the trends between these transcripts? What is the root cause? What is, what is the customer even talking about? There's a lot of very valuable data that is hiding here in these transcripts. So we're gonna use AI and open source LLM to actually extract the business value from these transcripts. I'm gonna pull an open source model from Hugging Face, run it in my Snowflake account, connect it to the data, but as if that wasn't a challenge enough, I'm gonna do it in only five minutes. So let's go ahead and see if we can pull this off. I'll go ahead and start the timer now. So first things first, I need that open source model. I'm gonna come here to Hugging Face. I'm gonna use Meta's Llama 2 LLM. This is a free and open source LLM, super capable for a number of, of text tasks. In Visual Studio Code, I have what's called a Docker file. This is how I will containerize my work. This is like the recipe for how to build my container. So I have here, I'm connecting it to that Hugging Face model, and I'll go ahead now and do what's called building my container image. This is like cooking that recipe. So once I've built the container that I need, I can go ahead now and publish it or push it to my Snowflake account. So now Snowflake, my Snowflake account, has access to the container that has the code, in this case, the model that I wanna run. Okay, well now that the container is there, how do I run it? So with Snowpark Container Services, the thing that I can create is called a service. Uh, let's call the service Llama2. Here I can define a compute pool, which is the profile that I wanna run this on. I'm gonna choose some NVIDIA accelerated GPUs. And the last thing that I need to define here is what's called a spec. This is just a few lines of YAML code I could show you in a second that lets Snowflake know how to run the container, what ports it's listening on. It's just a few very simple lines. So just that easy now, I have that Llama 2 service running. This is now running my container. It's running that model. Very interesting, how do I connect to it? Well, in Snowflake, I could connect via SQL, REST API, even build something like a Streamlit app. So this is a Streamlit app in Snowflake, and check this out. Uh, why do Snowflake users love Snowflake? So here I'm asking our model a question. It's responding in real time. This looks a lot like a chat GPT, but this isn't connected to OpenAI. This Streamlit app is actually talking to that model that we deployed to run a few seconds ago. Pretty slick. But for our scenario, we don't need this running in a chat app. We actually need it connected to our data. Let's do a quick time check here. Okay, two minutes down, three minutes to go. Let's actually connect this now to our data. Okay, so we created the service. To connect it to SQL in our table, I now need to create the function, the SQL function. So let's say create function LLM. And this function will take in a prompt, which is some text, and it's gonna return some text. But here I'm gonna tell Snowflake, hey, when I call this SQL function, actually just send the data to that Llama2 service. The last thing I have to define here is what's called the endpoint. This is just the port. Uh, that my container's listening on that SQL can send that data to. So I could do something fun here, like say select LLM, you know, tell me about foo. Uh, not super useful to talk to an LLM through SQL alone, but watch what I can do now. So let's say select transcript. Here I'm gonna call that LLM function, but I'm gonna give it some command. Given the following transcript, return a JSON object with the following properties. Uh, let's say summary, uh, root cause, and ending customer sentiment. So I'm giving it some data. I'm going to pass in that transcript. Let me finish writing this really quickly here too. And limit one. I'll tell you what it's doing while it runs. Okay, I had to type that quickly before we ran out of time. So what this is doing now is I'm passing in that transcript to our LLM, but I'm giving it a command. I'm saying, take that really long blurb of text, return a semi-structured JSON object with a few very useful pieces of info. So here was my original really long, hard to parse transcript. Let's take a look at our much more simplified one, our LLM powered one. Check that out. Here's a very simple summary. 
This was the root cause and I can see what the ending customer sentiment was. Super cool. I could obviously go in, fine tune this prompt or, or prompt engineer this a bit more, but the last step, I'm just gonna remove limit one, process all of my transcripts with that LLM, and better yet, I still have 54 seconds to spare with taking an open source LLM and connecting it to my data in Snowflake. None of my data here is leaving Snowflake. I'm sending it securely to a model running in my account. Super, super cool. The amount of things that you can do in Snowflake with Snowpark, our secure data cloud platform, Give this a shot yourself. If you're interested in trying this out, you can run through the same sample that I just did. I published it on GitHub. Check it out, github.com slash snowflake dash labs. There's a repo there called Snowpark Containers Llama 2 Sample. It gives you all the info you need to run the same thing in your Snowflake account on the Snowpark Container Services public preview. Thanks so much.